The 2023-2024 college season featured more star power than any in recent memory, and the good news for WNBA fans is that many of those players will be back on the court quickly. The 2024 WNBA draft is on Monday, and several stars that dominated in March Madness will be taking their talents to the professional stage. Every year, it boggles the mind how quick the transition is for college players. Kaylin Clark will go from game planning for South Carolina to being on the same roster as former Gamecocks great Alaya Boston. There isn't even enough time for a WNBA draft combine, so some team executives are working with incomplete information about height and wingspan. As a result, the WNBA draft, compared to its NBA counterpart, has always favored players who are able to produce in college rather than those who have the theoretical tools to succeed at the next level. We can project how a different team context will affect the player's impact, but at a certain point, if they don't have a high-level resume after four years, it's hard to take a risk on them. That's why the draft is a great entry point to the WNBA for followers with the college game. The best players will show up, starting with one of the GOATs. With the first pick of the 2024 WNBA draft, the Indiana Fever select Kaylin Clark, a six-foot guard out of Iowa. Like last season, there is no drama with the top pick. Boston entered their senior year as the favorite to be selected number one overall and further cemented her case during their final season with South Carolina. Clark has done the same at Iowa and now the two will be teammates for the fever. She took on every challenge and met the moment in every high stakes contest. At the collegiate level, Clark's production is unmatched. She's the leading scorer in college basketball history, a dead-eye shooter from deep range and an outstanding passer who finds his teammates on the break. Clark will be an immediate value add as a distributor and spacer with enormous upside as an individual scorer and shot creator. Clark is also an immediate boon to any franchise bottom line. Her impact on television ratings, even for ESPN's pre-game and post-game shows during the NCAA tournament has been astounding. She's already set to play in front of packed crowds throughout her rookie season, which has decidedly not been the case for recent iterations of the Fever. Clark being drafted number one has made such an impact that almost all the Fever tickets have been sold out, and surprisingly, the Fever have almost every single game as a national televised one for next season. There's no question that Kaylin Clark will go number one to the Fever, but this next pick to the Sparks might be a little controversial. With the second pick of the 2024 WNBA draft, the Los Angeles Sparks select Cameron Brink, a 6'4 power forward center from Stanford. Brink's star has dimmed in the last month, but that's not enough to take her out of the second selection. She is still an outstanding defensive player who covers ground well, can stay with guards or bigs, and prevent shots from being taken in addition to contesting them. Her shooting form suggests that she'll be able to play out on the perimeter because her frame is best suited to playing power forward. Brink should also benefit greatly from sharing the court with better guards, as Stanford's perimeter play let her down on many occasions. Guards who can apply rim pressure and defend at the point of attack will make her life significantly easier, enabling her to finish as a roller and defend closer to the basket. The major question for Brink is, can she rein in her foul rate? But perhaps being allowed to play through foul trouble will help her create better habits. With the third pick of the 2024 WNBA draft, the Chicago Sky select Rakia Jackson, a 6'2 forward from Tennessee. Jackson averaged about 20 points and 8 rebounds per game in arguably the toughest conference in the country. She is an unstoppable shot creator against the best athletes and dropped 33 and 10 in her final college game against NC State. She is physically ready to play in the WNBA and will be able to score right away, even if she still has some work to do providing value off the ball. There are some questions about Jackson's consistency and an unexplained suspension in 20. 2022 and 2023. Tennessee also underachieved relative to his talent, though perhaps now departed coach Harper is to blame. Nevertheless, those off-court concerns pale compared to her talent on the court. The Sky need all the talent they can in their rebuild. With the fourth pick of the 2024 WNBA draft, the Los Angeles Sparks select Camila Cardoso, a 6'7 center from South Carolina. There's an argument to be made that Cardoso will end up as the best big in this class. She's three inches taller than Brink and a fluid athlete who hasn't had the same foul issues as her Stanford counterpart. She was the focal point of everything South Carolina did this season. She's a safety valve on offense because she can catch anything and clean up messes with her offensive rebounding. She's a backstop on defense, allowing guards to pressure up because they have a shot blocker behind them. Cardoso barely scratched the surface of her individual offense as a post scorer and still is effective on the end because of her quick passing out of doubles and her work off the glass. The defensive three second rule will affect how Cardoso positions herself on defense. She'll have to improve her conditioning, but seeing how much Cardoso improved even throughout her senior season bodes well for how much she can develop in the WNBA. With the fifth pick of the 2024 WNBA draft, the Dallas Wings select like J.C. Sheldon, a 5'10 guard out of Ohio State. Now that Paige Becker decided to stay another year at UConn, the best guard after Clark is Sheldon, who should bring some defense to Dallas without comprising the wing spacing. Sheldon will be allowed to play aggressively on the perimeter, knowing that the trees, as in McCowan, Brown, and Natisha Howard, are waiting behind her inside. She isn't a natural lead guard, but Dallas still needs a two-way guard who can play next to Arika Ogunbowe, and Sheldon is big enough to make that backcourt defensively viable. With the sixth pick of the 2024 WNBA draft, the Washington Mystics select Alaya Edwards, a 6'3 forward center 
center out of UConn. Edwards might have hoped to land on a team ready to win right away after playing in three Final Fours in four seasons at UConn, but perhaps getting the opportunity to explore the studio space, so to speak, will be helpful. One of Edwards' best traits is that she plays within herself but that's mostly within 15 feet of the basket. As a pro, she'll have to be a power forward at her size, and she'll need to expand her shooting range and defend more in the perimeter. General managers around the league rave about Edwards' IQ, competitiveness, and work ethic. She has a high floor and ideally can use this runway with the Mystics to raise her ceiling. With the seventh pick of the 2024 WNBA Draft, the Minnesota Lynx select Angel Reese, a 6'3 forward center out of LSU. The Lynx were one of the worst rebounding teams in the league in 2023, and if there is one thing Reese brings to the table, it's the ability to rebound. Minnesota would be an interesting fit for Reese because the Lynx have have a lot of perimeter creation and bigs who can operate away from the basket, leaving some room in the middle for Reese to work. She plays hard on both ends of the floor, which should earn some minutes under head coach Shell Reef. With the eighth pick of the 2024 WMA draft, the Chicago Sky select Niadu Pouch, a six foot three forward out of the Southside Flyers in Australia. The Chicago Sky should take some big swings in this draft, considering they only have one player under contract beyond this season and need to plug in a lot of holes. A 19 year old athletic wing seems like a good place to start. She is an elite defender at multiple positions and is already playing against. WNBA athletes in the WNBL. She needs help refining her jumper and offensive decision making, but that's why Chicago hired a GM with a player development track record and Jeff Paligal. With the ninth pick of the 2024 WNBA draft, the Dallas Wings select Carla Liette, a 5'9 guard out of Tarbes, France. The roster crunch in Dallas means the Wings likely can only keep one first round pick in their 2024 team. So a draft and stash makes sense at number nine despite Dallas' inclination for bigs. And the fact that Elizabeth Kelly could also be a stash after tearing her ACL in March. The bet here is that the Wings go small because their front court cupboard is already stocked, especially with Stephanie Soares poised to make her WNBA debut this season. As such, Dallas can add to its backcourt with some of the great yards in Europe. At 19 years old, Leah is already a high-level scorer who is tough to stop on her way to the rim. She is crafty at drawing fouls and shoots well on free throws. Even if she can't come over this season, Leah is worth waiting for. With the 10th pick of the 2024 WNBA Draft, the Connecticut Sun select Elisa Pili, a 6'2 forward out of Utah. There's been almost no change from the latest mock drafts here. Connecticut doesn't have obvious needs and none that can be addressed at this point in the draft. The Sun can afford to be a more forward thinking and take the most talented player left. Someone who figures out how to score from every area on the court. This is a great landing spot for Police, who will have to learn how to defend or simply give more effort on that end to get on the court in Connecticut. With the 11th pick of the 2024 WMA draft, the New York Liberty select Nika Mill a 5'10 guard out of UConn. Almost everyone didn't see how perfect she was at defense until seeing her true highlights. She is strong and tough and causes real difficulty for opposing ball handlers, including getting Kaitlyn Clark and Juju Watkins out of rhythm. The Liberty need to shore up their backcourt defensively, and Mo is already comfortable taking all the toughest assignments. She's also an excellent passer and can hit spot up. She saw 42.6% on catch and shoot jumpers her senior season. UConn was 15.2 points per 100 possessions better offensively with Mo on the court in 2022 and 2023. That's the lesser part of her game. Taylor was in consideration here because her defensive gifts, but most overall package gave her the nod. With the 12th pick of the 2024 WNBA Draft, the Atlanta Dream select Charisma Osborne, a 5'9 guard out of UCLA. I was tempted to put Texas Shailene Gonzalez in this spot as a solid secondary playmaker who can hit threes and defend secondary options. She's also the same size as Charisma Osborne. Ultimately, I stuck with the UCLA guard because of her athletic advantages, which seemed to be a priority in Atlanta. Osborne is a good playmaker who still needs to learn to be a primary point guard unless she rebounds her jumper and becomes a knockdown spot up shooter. As it stands, she's still a plus defender who takes on the toughest perimeter assignments and is physically built for the WNBA.